Hello everyone. So this video will be watching how to go on with geometry. So this is going to be the chapter one, lesson one of geometry about understanding points, lines, and planes. So in this lesson, you'll be deeply looking at how lines, points, and planes look like and what do they do in fact. Okay, so what's the importance? So why do you need to study this? There are architects, architects are the people who design buildings. They use these representations of points, lines, and planes to create models of buildings. Means they use these planes, like for example, you would want to draw a building. Of course, you have to draw it through using lines, right? Same way, architects use points and planes and lines to create models of buildings. Architects are the ones who design buildings. Okay, so let's start with what are the some of the basic figures in geometry? As soon as someone asks, name us some shapes or name us some figures in uh, figures. At once what comes to us are these four figures because this is what we have been studying from long. And always this, this have these four shapes always has been in our mind. But are they really the basic figures of geometry? The most basic figures in geometry are undefined terms. They are not defined, which cannot be defined using other figures. Now, if you say, uh, if you want to draw a uh, square, you have to use four lines and draw the square, right? So to draw the square, what is important there? The lines are important. So line is an undefined term, which you cannot define using any other figure because line is a line, but the other figures are made up of lines, right? Okay, the undefined terms are the point, line, and plane are the building blocks of geometry. Just like for making the buildings, we need blocks, we need the stones. Same like that for geometry, the building blocks of geometry are points, lines, and planes. Just like cells are our building block for any living thing, uh, the cells are the building blocks because all the living things are made up of cells. Similarly, all these geometric figures are made up of either points or lines or planes. That's what they are saying. They are the building blocks of geometry. They are the basic figures of geometry. Okay, now let's see one by one how they look like and how do we name them and how do you draw them? The, the first one is a point. A point names a location and has no size. It is precisely a place. A point is a um, location, okay? It is represented by a dot. So it looks like this. So what is a point? It names a location. It has no size. It can be big, it can be small. It specifically doesn't need to be a specific size. No, it has to be 0 0.5 centimeter. No, there's nothing like that. It's a dot, okay? Now, how do you name it? Now, of course, dot, if there are many dots on a paper, how do you know which dot are we talking about, right? Like if I have drawn four dots on a paper and if I say point on to uh, point, uh, put your finger on point A, how do you know which point am I talking about? So for that reason, we have to name it. How do you name it? We use a capital letter to show the point. You know not what capital letters are. You can use any letter from A to Z capital that they're the big letters to show a point like this. So here there are four points. So this point is A, this is point B, this is point B, and this is point C. You can name them any point, any letter you want to, not necessarily A or B or C or in any order. You can use any uh, capital letter. Let's move on to the next one, which is the line. A line is a straight path. It is straight and has no thickness and extends forever. So a line does not have any stop. It can keep going and going and going and going. Nobody can stop that. So a line usually looks like this. See, you can see that there are two arrows on both sides, which means they can keep on getting longer and longer and longer and they do not have a stop. So a line is straight. It will always be straight. It does not have thickness also, and it can keep on extending. How do you name these lines? Now, if there are many lines on a plane, how can you identify which line are we talking about? So for naming a line, either we use a lowercase letter, so we use a smaller letter from the alphabet, or two points on line. 
So on the line, we can put two points and name the line like this. Either you put two lines on the point, uh, two points on the line. So points, you know, you have to name it with capital letters. So you can put two points on the line and name this as line A, B. Or you can use a smaller low, uh, letter that is a lowercase letter and name it accordingly. However, you want it to. Either you name it with one single letter with a small letter or you name it with two capital letters by using two points. Let's move on to the next one, which is a plane. A plane is a flat surface that has no thickness and extends forever. Now, a plane is also flat, okay? Just like the top of a table or the top of your book, the cover of your book, it is plain, it is flat. But the book itself is not flat, it is, it is thick. So the book is not a plane, but the top cover, the cover of the book is a plane. It is a flat surface that has no thickness and it can extend forever. So you can see that there are four uh, arrows, which means it can go on in any direction. It can become bigger. It can become go to the go up and become longer. It can come down. It can go to the right. It can go to the left anywhere, and it can keep extending. Okay. Now, how do we name the plane? We name the plane by using a script letter. Script letters are the stylish letters of English alphabet, the capital letters or three points not on a line. It should have been three points which are not on a line. So it might, this is a plane. So you can call this plane as plane A, C, B. Now it should not be like uh, points on a, on a line because C, A, D, B are on a line. You cannot call this plane A, D, B because they are points on a line. Right? So you can call them anything else other than points on a line. You can call it as B, C, A. You can call it as B, D, C, anything, but not A, D, B or B, D, A. You cannot call this plane A, D, B or B, D, A. You can call this plane A, C, B, B, C, A, D, B, C, B, D, C, A, D, C, C, D, A. Anything you want to, you can call except which are on the straight line. Or you will use a script letter. These are called script letters. See, they look stylish. Okay, they're a little bit curvy and they're a little bit uh, round shape like that. Okay, so these are script letters. So you can either call this plane plain R just by using the script letter or by using any three points on the uh, plane which are not in a straight line. Hopefully, these three things are clear for you. So let's move on to something new for you. Uh, this word, of course, you must have not heard of it before. Okay, points that lie on the same line are collinear. Okay, so points that lie on the same line are called as collinear points. As you can see in this word itself, there is the word line. Co means together. Co means together. So together in a line. That's what that means. Co means together, line in the line. So which points are together in the line? Points that lie on the same line are A, B, C, D. So from the word itself, you can understand what they're asking for. As I'm making it more easy for you, co means together. You can write down these meanings so that when you revise, it will be easy for you to remember. Co means together. Here, the word line is already there. So together in the line. Which points are together in the line? A, B, C, D. So A, B, C, D are collinear points. Now, what about points A, E, A, B? Are they on a line? They are not on the line. So these points, we call them as non-collinear points. None means no. So not together on the line. Code means I said together, right? Together on the line is A, B, C, D. None means no. So not together on the line are E, A, B. You can name any one you want. F, B, A, G, C, D. There are many points. So whichever points which are not on the line are called as non-collinear points. Hopefully it's easy. Let's move on to another one. Points that lie in the same plane are coplanar. Okay. So as you can see, co means together. There is the word already plan, but here there should be an E, but it is an A. So, but still it is easy for us to remember. Co means together, planner, co-planar, co-planar uh, points, 
that lie in the same plane are coplanar points. So from the plane, you can see which points are together. Points A, B, and C are coplanar points. Okay, so well, because they are on the same plane, so we call it as coplanar points. Now, similarly, what about these points outside? So the points outside, as you might already guess, that's going to be non-coplanar points. So none means no, co means together. So not together on the plane are which points? A, B, E. There are also other points. You can even say B, A, E. You can say that too. And also you can say a C, B, E because they are also not on a uh, on the plane, but they are collinear points because see if you join them, you'll get a straight line, but they are not on the plane. So we call them as non-coplanar points. All right. Now this is a question. Okay. Um, we will solve this just so that your confusion, if you have any, will be more cleared out. This is the design in the roof of Beijing National Stadium. So Beijing's National Stadium has this design. Of course, an architect would have done this design. Okay, so the question is, uh, you can see, before I go to the question, you can see that there is a plane. This is a plane and also this is a plane. Now, plane does not necessarily need to be like this. It can be also like this. It can be a triangle. It can be a square. It can be a rectangle. It can be a diamond, anything. But it should be a flat surface. It's not necessarily the plane should be like this. But whenever we say plane, we draw something like this. But not necessary. You can even draw a triangle like that. So they want you to write name for coplanar points. So coplanar points. Now here there are only three, but they need four. So what are coplanar? together on the plane. So they need four. Which points are we going to take? These are the four points which are on the plane. So we can say it as K, L, M, N. So points K, L, M, N are coplanar because they are on the same plane. Okay, next one is name three lines. Now, lines, you know that lines will not have end points. Rather, they will have two arrows like this always. Okay. Because a line, you know, it is never stopping. It keeps moving and moving. That's why it's shown by two arrows on either side. So name three lines. We, these are the three lines we have. So we have line B, C. You can even call it C, B, no problem. Then we have line A, C, which can also be read as line C, A and A, B. So these are the three lines we have. And here you can see this symbol which is on top of these letters these indicate the symbol for line and these are important because this is what says that we are talking about lines so whenever they say the name three lines or you're talking anything about lines you just write the letters and then put a arrow on top of the symbol line symbol on top of these letters next one is name two planes only we have two planes here right so either you can say it as plain R, as you can see the scripted letter here, right? The stylish R is there. So you can say it as plain R or even you can say, um, say it as plain LMN because you can use any three letters. It doesn't matter. Or you can even use the four. So no problem. But here because there is R, we will name it as plain R or plain A, B, C. So these are the two planes we have. So this we named it as R and this we named it as A, B and C. So hopefully this is easy, but uh, all you need to do is a bit memorization, I guess, because that's what is important, all right? So let's start practicing some questions. All right, so here we are gonna use this figure, which is to the right, okay? to answer, answer these questions. The question says, use the figure to name each of the following. So here, we, they're asking for five points. So look at the figure, okay? Now you cannot say these are points because as you can see, they are the scripted letters. They are the stylish letters, right? So what are the way, uh, letters other than these two? We have A, B, C, D, E. So that's what they want. They want you to write five points. So. A is a point, B is a point, C is a point which can be anywhere on this line. Okay, so for, just to make it easier for you, let me put the point here. Then we have D and E. So what are the five points we have? We have point A and B, point C, point D and point E. So these are the five points which are in the figure. It's easy. 
next one is name two lines so lines you know as you should they should have two arrows on both the sides so which are the two lines we have we have one here and one here so this line we can name it as b d right b d and this line we can name it as a c because there are already two points on the line so let's name this as line b d right b d and on the top you need to draw the symbol don't forget and then line a c these are the two lines very easy just you need to observe the picture that's it now they want the name of two planes so already the scripted letters are there so you can say that it is plane f okay and plane n plane f and plane n or you can use any three letters which are on the plane to say so rather than saying plane n you can even say plane a b d or a c b anything but it should be on the plane now instead of saying f you can say plane b c e but don't use the straight line ones so just here and there so you can choose three points rather than saying plane n you can even say plane b a d or b a c you can do that okay so not necessarily you always need scripted letters to write but here because they are scripted letters we wrote this now point on bd so point on line bd this is line bd which is the point which is on line bd it's point c so point c so point c is on point bd very easy only that you need to observe very well and remember what these words mean let's go to another question use the figure to name each of the following so you can see here this is plain m or even you can call it as plain bca bca anything okay a line that contains ac so they want a line that contains ac where is ac this is a and c so which line has these two points it's line ab which has these two points so all what you need to write is line a and b okay a line that contains a c is line a b okay next one a plane that contains a d c so a d c which plane is containing a d c you can say it as plane m or you can even say it is plane any three letters you can choose so plain M is easier because we don't need to do anything else. It's already given. So plain M or you can use any three letters to name this plane. Hopefully, it's a very easy part of geometry. Okay, now one more. Sketch a figure that shows each of the following. Three coplanar lines that intersect in a common point. So they want you to draw three coplanar lines. Now coplanar means, you know, they should be on a plane. Uh, they should not be like standing that intersect in a common point so let's draw three lines first okay so they should be on a plane um first before drawing that let me draw a plane so that you will understand what they are saying this is a plane in fact it should not be with the arrows forgot to remove that option of how to remove the arrows okay this is a plane now in this we are going to draw three lines so let's draw three lines in fact one two three so without the um, plane your drawing should look like that because they are three lines which are intersecting at a common point so this is the point what does this word intersect mean intersect means to join or to meet okay so you need to remember this because we will be using this word often in geometry intersect means to join or meet so you need to draw three lines that meet at a common point so these three are the lines two lines that do not intersect now as soon as i say this you need to get some easy familiar word in your mind two lines that do not intersect so two lines that do not meet each other there is a special word for this it's called as 
parallel lines. Parallel lines are the lines that do not intersect. So they should never meet each other. Okay, so you have to draw it straight, but you can draw it parallelly however you want. You can, even you want to draw it straight, it's okay, but you should have to draw two lines that do not intersect. Now these two things are very important because they should have these arrows here on both the sides. So that was all for your lesson. Hopefully you have understood that. It's just the beginning of geometry. Hopefully the remaining part of geometry is going to be easy too. So if you have understood this video, do comment below that you have watched the video and you have understood it. It's better so that we can know each other that we have, you have, I can know that you have understood the lesson. So if you know, as I always say, if you know of anyone who know, wants these lessons, do tell them to watch the video so that they will also benefit from it. A small help we can do for others. So till we meet again, as I always say, keep practicing and keep learning now.